The Nashville Predators hosting the Calgary Flames, and the Flames are minus 140 on the money line. The Predators are plus 115. The over-under is six goals. Calgary laying a goal and a half are plus 180, meaning they have to win the game by two. And Nashville getting a goal and a half are minus 210, meaning they have to win the game outright or they can't win the game by uh, lose the game by two. Now, Calgary's on a two-game winning streak. They are 8-2 and two in their past 10 games, and in those games where they were favorite and had to win by two, minus a goal and a half, they are 8-2. and two. Nashville's on a two-game losing streak. They are 4-6 and six in their past 10 games, and in those games where they were underdog and couldn't lose the game by two, getting a goal and a half, they are 3-2. and two. And I believe somehow they are still statistically alive for the playoffs. Head-to-head, -head, Nashville is on a four-game winning streak against the Flames. Nashville is 6-4 in their past 10 meetings against the Flames. They've played twice this year. Nashville won both of those games. Both of those games went into extra time, and they won both of those games 3-2. One in a shootout and one in overtime. I'm going to go clean sweep here for Nashville. This is probably going to come back to blow up in my face, but I'll take the Predators with the money line, the Predators with the goals. I'm going to go under the 6. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. If the, Panther, if the Predators want to make the playoffs, they got to beat playoff teams.